Hey folks, how are you doing? So, had an, another nice day and uh, wanted to do something different today, something I've done it before, but I haven't done it in uh, quite a while and it's a great pa creator pattern. So, did the orange and black. I do like this a lot. Of, you'll see. This one has a regular fold over, take down, gray kydex. Nice, nice retention. Stone wash. My traditional stone wash, full high convex, nice and acute bevel. About I don't know, it's under 15 degrees per side, so it's it it's gonna cut well. Nice and thin grind. This one is ABL. Yeah, I think only the only the jade is N690. So you see, nice great pattern. The way I do it, it's not with the drill bit, it's with the carbide ball. So it it looks very similar. I don't know if it's any different really. I never really compare them side by side. So you have the crater pattern, chamfered edges nicely, heavy chamfer, not just you know silly knocked off corners, so it's nice and comfortable, no sharp edges, and then really heavy sandpaper, you know, sand sand sanded by hand to knock off all the ridges. So it's nice and comfortable, you just feel little nibbles there, and it just looks cool. It provides pretty good grip to it, but without without like hot spots. It just you know everything is rounded, which is pretty nice. You have nicely chamfered index finger here, front of the handle, everything. They are a little more robust than my regular handles because they don't have the kind of this way the hourglass shaping, but you still have very positive positive grip because of the deep index finger chop what I have and that little bulb on the end. You know when you have a small hands like me, it works like that. So that's that. Orange and black. Next one is toxic green and black. I really like this one. I think it just pops really well. That toxic green and black on that crater. I think it just suits it. Plus it's kind of like those, I don't know, like blisters, toxic blisters it looks like. All of these actually have, a, if you notice, they have a sandblasted and heat, heat anodized screws, removable handles. This one has a little triple jimping up front this one has a nice swedge on top if you notice the swedge goes all the way from the tip all the way to that first chimp here and it actually comes it's not sharp but it actually comes to you know kind of like a sharp swedge kind of same deal slightly thinner than the, than the orange and blue one and this one has that graphite OD greenish kydex, same thing, fold over, rem uh, take down. Next one is wider, black and blue, same kind of deal. This is for the people who don't like the bright colors. The black and blue is nice and subtle, but exactly the same deal. It just started off with a little thicker, so it's a little more thicker, but same comfort, same exact, pretty much everything, you know, beside the fact that the craters are random. Full high convex, nice and small bevel, knocked off corners again, like a small swedge on top. And this one, these last two I changed and I did fold over. I haven't done those in a while, it makes for super small package for a pocket. You have a nice thumb ram here, so you know, to deploy the knife. Also you can kind of, you know, put the knife in by pushing on it if you would use it as, I wouldn't use it as a neck knife because it doesn't have two holes on the top. And these with these handles are a little heavier than my regular versions, but you know it, you can kind of help yourself put the knife in by pushing, you know, kind of pulling on from the top of the thumb ram. But it's nice, nice thumb ram on it. Yet very very secure shade. Same thing with this one. This is a jade, same deal. Nice thumb ram, fold over design, shoots so it's ballistic. <laughs> very very small package with, with this type of shit. I think I'm gonna do it a little more often. Uh, I'm, I personally like the regular style because it gives you more mounting options but it's just smaller, lighter and uh, kinda cool looking too. All the overall shape I like. So you have again it doesn't show as much as the other ones but it, it is pretty cool pattern on this jade I think. The craters and the jade Kind of like a goldish, bronzish screws, stone wash, convex, small little, just very small knocked off corners on the spine. 
and this is N690 like I mentioned. And I want to show you something. I've been planning to do this forever. I just always was kind of scared because I, I always thought that it's not gonna be good. Unidirectional carbon fiber. Uh, this isn't the one from Composite Scrap. I didn't want to risk uh, good, you know, stuff that I paid for. Uh, you know, it wasn't something cheap. So I had the little cheap variant from uh, from a friend of mine, and I tried it on that. And that's bead blasting, sand blasting the unidirectional carbon fiber. I always thought that it's gonna kind of splinter and it's gonna, you know, separate the layers, but so far it looks, I just gotta, you know, finish the knife and handle it, use it for a little bit, see how it's gonna behave, but so far it has really awesome effect. I don't know if you can make it up on the camera, but all the layers, if it wouldn't be focusing on the table, all the layers create like microscopic little steps, and also in the craters, if you see it, you can't really make it out, there you can probably see it kinda like can you can you hear it it actually like you know blasts away the the edges of the epoxy or whatever they use the resin or epoxy for the layers and it leaves that it behaves a little differently than when you blast the G10 but it it looks really cool so definitely gonna try it see I have plenty of this and uh, I'm glad I finally did it because it looks like if it's gonna hold up it looks like it's gonna be really cool handle material you know like the the way to finish it not just pol high polish uh, you know finish but this sandblasted I do like it you guys know that I love sandblasted material because it's there's it more texture more grip so guys hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching as always these are going to gear bastion link down below Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself.